Amen. 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 Praise God. If you wasn't here last week, we got a word from heaven. Amen. 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 And, and you know, did we not? Amen. Amen. We had a time in the Lord last week. I mean, praise God. God truly moved in this house last week. Amen. Praise God. And, and the man of God was talking about, amen, you know, Nehemiah, amen, how he had to rebuild, amen, Jerusalem, amen, and the walls, amen, praise God, amen, and one thing the Lord, amen, and praise God, you know, I, I told, amen, McGrew, amen, praise God, that any time God tell you, when God said, spoke to minister Jessica said, forget the former things, amen, behold, I am doing a new thing, amen, I knew immediately that that was going to be adversity, come on somebody, amen, amen. Immediately, amen. There was gonna be amen obstacles. Come on, somebody. Amen. I knew immediately that there was gonna be challenges, amen. amen. When God said he's doing a new thing, somebody say amen. amen. Because the devil also heard God doing a new thing. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. And he's gonna stop that amen. new thing. Come on, somebody give God some praise amen. up in this house. And he'll do whatever he can to stop that new thing. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because just like God spoke, amen. When God tells you you're set free in your mind, guess what? Somebody better help me up in this place. And so, amen, I'm looking around, amen, and I see, amen, if I walk by what I see, I'll be real discouraged. Somebody can say amen, but I walk by faith and not by sight, amen. How many know God give you a word to walk by? Somebody say amen. And you got to walk by what God has said. Somebody say amen. Because the devil is showing up going to bring something for you to see, to get you discouraged. He's going to cause you to hear something to get you discouraged. But you got to stand on God. Because you need help. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, anybody say they don't need no help. They 
need help. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. That's why we come to church. Amen. But I'm trying to, I said, Lord, I, 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 this thing is getting so intense. Somebody say, man, I can't do this thing. I, I'm, 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 I'm so intense. This thing is so intense in my life. Now, Lord, I'm sitting in the office 5 30 this morning and I'm contemplating. I'm saying, what in the world I'm going to do? What in the world? What, what in the world is going on? I, I call little Paul. Amen. Praise God, brother. Just get over here. Amen. But I'm, I'm, I'm in my office, my group, and I'm like, what in the world going on? What, Lord, what are you doing? Amen. I, I, I'm just tired, Lord. How many of you get tired sometimes? Somebody help me. Lord, I'm just tired of this fight. I'm tired, Lord God. Lord, you, you done brought me out with a strong hand. I said, now, now what's going on now? I know we about, I know, I know when God is going to deliver, the closer you get to your deliverance, the more intense it gets. Somebody say amen. And here we are in August, man. And the man, January is so far away. Somebody better help me. It's so close, but so far away. And I'm like, Lord, what are you doing? Lord, Lord help me. Yeah. I said, where are we at? Where am I at? God said, you know where you at? I didn't, I, I didn't have anything. You know where the preacher pick up the mic. He got something to say. I didn't get a word till I stepped through them doors. Come on. Mm. Sit down with Elder Paul. I said, man, y'all hold it down today. Dinner. Mm. Dinner. Yes, sir. Hold it down today, man. I'm, 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 I'm going to take a say that as somebody told me. As I done heard somebody say it. I done heard. I'm going to take a say that, brother. I'm going to get with y'all when I get with y'all. Come on, somebody. Somebody better help me up in this place. And God said, you know where, I'm going to show you where when I step through the door. God said, I'm going to show you where you at. You can't win this fight by yourself. Come on, come on. Amen, amen. That's right. Come on now. God said, you was in a battle. He said, by yourself. Watch this. He said, I'm going to show you where. He took me to Samson. He said, and he gave me two pieces of scripture. I'm gonna go to one of them. But he took me to where Samson fought a thousand Philistines. Mm. Somebody help me. Come on. He said, This way you at, son. He said, he fought a thousand Philistines. He gave them a new jawbone. I said, a new jawbone to defeat a thousand Philistines. Somebody help me. Come on. And the scripture says that when Samson finished defeating those thousand Philistines, he was at the point of death. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody help me. Come on, come on. God said, You done defeated your thousand. Yeah. Ooh, y'all better help me. Come on, now. Come on. Somebody help me. Come on now. <laughs> but when you fight the devil, somebody help me. Come on. Don't you know you in a fight? And when you I ain't never seen nobody. Come on, somebody. Amen. That was in a fight. I didn't say a one-sided fight. You better help me. I said a fight. Come on, somebody. I ain't never seen nobody come out of a fight without some scars. Somebody help me. I ain't never seen nobody come out of a fight tired, not tired. Somebody better help me. Y'all better. I ain't never seen a track star run a race and get to the finish line and he's not breathing heavy. Y'all better help me up in this place. And God said, you just came out of a fight. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, touch my hand right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing in her right now. We command her airways to clear right now in the name of Jesus. Any aches and pains to be removed right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. Right now. Stretch for your hands. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Right now, Father. We thank you for your healing power. Father, right now, you've given us.
us to support. And we thank you right now. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Hey, nobody mad about the devil. Come on, somebody. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Come on, somebody. I've said, what was I have to fight? Who been in a fight in here before? Who been in a good fight? And after the fight, come on, somebody. Somebody help me. After the fight, you don't think, you don't hear nothing unless you get knocked out. Somebody help me. But you don't feel nothing when you in that fight, when you in that fight. Come on, somebody. But after that fight, you get home, man. Man, come on, somebody. I just been in a serious fight. And sometimes you sold for days. And if you get a, and if you get a black guy, that lasts for days. Rocky and Apollo Creed, I used them. Man, the brother was laid up in the hospital, broken ribs, broken nose, just broke up after the fight. And God said, watch this. He said, you gotta, I've given you a great deliverance. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on. And now you're feeling the effects after the fight. Somebody help me. Come on, come on. Ooh, boy, this, 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 come on, this, I'm telling you, I got this when I walked through the door. He said, Samson was at the point of death and so are you. Mm. Woo! Mm. Watch this. Samson is at the point of death. Sometimes after you come out of a fight, you at the point of death. I'm talking about a spiritual fight. Come on, come Somebody on. help me. After you come out of a fight, you at the point of death, man. Come on. And I like what Samson said. He said, Lord, you've given this. Now, now watch this, watch this, watch this. See, when you come out of a fight, see, it's folk that wanted you to get knocked out in the fight. Uh -huh. Come on now. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show you something Samson said, amen, that struck me. Amen. Praise God. See, because people want you to get knocked out in the fight. Uh -huh. They're not expecting you to make it through that fight. That's right. Come on, somebody. They're not expecting you to make it out of that fight. Come on. Uh -huh. They're sitting there watching, got their popcorn ready like Tio said. Get your popcorn ready because we're going to watch this brother Paul. We're going to watch this sister Paul. Man, we can sit here watching this fight. I ain't going to throw no help in. I ain't going to help him out of nothing. Uh -huh. I want to see a Paul. And Samson said, he said, Lord, you gave me this great deliverance, but now I'm at the point of death. Right. Come on, somebody. Come on. I want to show y'all. Can I, can I show this to y'all? I want to show this to y'all. That struck me. Woo. See, some, you, sometimes you got to say some stuff to God. Somebody help me. On, you got to say some things. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. God know you need help, but sometimes you got to say, Lord, help me. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. Watch this. I'm going to show you something real quick. Go to, go to Judges. Samson, that would be in chapter 13. Let me see if we find that right quick. Chapter 15. Watch this. See, you can't defeat the enemy by yourself. So I say, man. He said in chapter uh, 15 of Judges, verse 14. Will you there say, man? And when he, when he, had, and when he came unto Leah, the Philistines shouted against him, and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cords were, the cords that were upon him. His arms became as flax, and they were burnt with fire, as burnt with fire, and his bands loose from his hands. Come on, somebody. See, the see, first thing the devil want to do is tie your hands. That's right. Come on, somebody. Come on, because if I can tie your hands, you can't fight. Uh-huh. Come on. Ain't no praise, ain't no praise coming out of you with your hands tied. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. You can't fold them hands to pray with your hands tied. Come on, somebody. Amen. But if I can loose, in fact, if I can get loose from that, come on. And the first thing God did was loose him. To fight. Now watch this. He found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith. Y'all see that? Amen. See, God, God will give you the strength to defeat the enemy. That's some things you got to do, though. Amen. Somebody help me. Amen. Come on. Because if God did all the work, he 
would have been tired after. Y'all right. better help me up in this place. There ain't nobody shouting. Come on now. I said if God would have did all the work, then he wouldn't have been tired after the fight. That's so don't right. tell me you don't have to do your part. Amen. Y'all better help me. Come on now. All right, come on. He had to take that job on and fight the devil. God gave him the job on to defeat the devil, and the spirit of God was on him to defeat the devil. But don't you know, even when the spirit of God come on you, don't you know you get tired? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Boy, y'all, 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 come, come on, preach now. Jesus was tired. Come on, somebody. See, the, you, you can get tired just fighting in the spirit. Because <laughs> Jesus said, man, I, I got to go get refreshed, man. I'm going out from all this virtue leaving me. Mm -hmm. Y'all better help me up in this place. Oh, yeah. And don't you think after preaching for three years in an intense battle, y'all don't think that's a fight? Somebody better help me up in this place. Uh, don't you think come you're on. supposed to talk? Y'all better come on, somebody give me a prayer. Well, this, this, is, this is good stuff, man. Amen. Spirit came heavily on him to go fight the, the enemy. And it was the Spirit of God that gave him the victory, but he had to do something too. Right. And you got folks sitting around waiting on God to do everything. Come on, and come on somebody. Come on, come on somebody. Come on. God ain't gonna rain no money down from heaven. You got to do your part. Somebody better help me. Come on. But this is a work you want to preach. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. God said, look here. What we got right here, right now, is a pearl. Mm. Amen. This is a gem right here, this ministry. Amen. Amen. But you gotta appreciate what God is doing Amen. at the house. Uh -huh. God said, I ain't gonna come down from heaven and just woo when the resources are already here. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. Come on now. But where is what do you value? Mm -hmm. That's the key. Do you value this ministry? Because guess what? If the door shut today, it won't be God's fault. Amen. Woo. Come on. I don't even know why I just went there, brother. If the door shut today, it won't be God's fault. Because the resources is in the house. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. God stepped in and told the manager, God stepped in and told the owner. He said, look here. He, he moved them. I cut it in half and we still struggling? Mm. See, what happened was, instead of giving, when I said we cut it in half, folks, stop giving. Oh, they can afford it now. I don't have to do my part. Somebody help me. Mm -hmm. Boy, I don't, woo, <laughs> I don't know how I led that way. I don't know how, I don't know how we went that way. But we've been fighting a battle with our finances, fighting a battle with just, just bitterness. Yes. Come on, come on. Backbiting. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on, somebody. Come on now. Gossip. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Amen. False accusations. Come on now. Yes. Somebody help me. Come on now. You've been fighting a battle because the devil playing with your mind and got you thinking some this way, that way. And God is in the mix trying to move something. Come on. Come on. Somebody help me. Come on now. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. Y'all see me driving a lot. I, I, I gotta tell it, man. You see the devil playing with your mind. Pastor driving a nice car. Mm. So, come on. Ooh, boy, boy. Yeah. Come Lord, on. have mercy. Yeah. Pastor driving a nice car, but don't know Pastor ain't paying the car, no. Mm. Woo! Come on. Yeah. Come on. Woo! Y'all better, better, better help me up in this place. Come on, come on somebody. Come on. That's called favor. Mm. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on now. That, that's called favor. Somebody help me. Hallelujah. This house is our house. Amen. We're supposed to support this house. Amen. You're not supporting me. Somebody help me up in this place. You're supporting the house, and the house is not being supported. Amen. I'm not a friend. Look at Watch this. I'm not a friend. I just came out of a battle. Now, guess what? In my fight, I lost everything. But I still got the victory. Amen. 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 Come on. Come on now. I'm feeling the effects. Woo, y'all better help me. Come on, I'm feeling the effects of my fight. Mm. I lost everything in my fight. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on now. I lost it all in my fight. Come on. Come on. Come on, somebody. Lost my credit. Lost everything. Cars, house, we lost it all. Come on. Come on. In my fight. But I know the earth is the Lord and the food is there, brother. Come on, now. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Pastor struggle just like you, but I still preach the word. Come on. Pastor struggle just like man, I, I, I don't know how many times Brother Charles would help me out. Come on, brother, am I right about it? I ain't scared to say that. Come on, somebody. Because that you won't need some help at a point of time in your life. Amen. 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 Come on. Somebody help me. Amen. So I'm not ashamed of needing help. Uh -huh. I'm not ashamed of God moving folks to bless me. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen. Woo, what is this stuff that going on? I said the residue of a fight. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was in serious need. I just got to share this and then I'm going to move on to the fight. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Is this all right? Amen. I was in serious need a couple weeks ago. See, when you're faithful to God, you, you ain't got to run around. Brother, hurry up, brother. God going to move somebody to help you. Uh -huh. I was in serious need. Brother Charles was in office. I was in serious need. Brother Calvin called me. I was in a car with Elder Paul. He said, man, God told me to tell you that this is not from me. This is from God. Because I remember when I didn't have nothing. I remember when you gave me your car. He said, I remember when you just gave it to me. 
He said, I remember that, Pastor. I remember everything you did. I remember the $2,000 you gave me when I was hurting. He said, I remember everything you did for me. He said, now you in need. He said, and God told me to tell you to give. You, I, you remember you paid my rent that time? I said, man, I don't remember. He said, well, I do. He said, God told me to tell you that this is from God. My wife got a package for you. Came to church, Sophia came and gave me the package and put in there $801 bills. This is from God. Don't tell me God don't. Amen. Amen. Yes, right. Come on, somebody. Yes, come on now. Yes. Come, come on. Now. In the fight, you may lose everything, but when you come out the fight, uh -huh. it's still, and you'll be tired. And, and think I said, this is when you were tired, even though my spirit. See, people say, well, brother, you know, let's, let's, God said, let's, here's the reality of everything. Because you hear folks, Self-righteous folks. Oh man, you ain't got no penis being tired, brother. Walk in the spirit. Come on. Churchology. Folks that ain't been through nothing. Come on, somebody. Come on now. Folks ain't been through nothing. Come on, somebody. Oh, you ain't got somebody. You can shout through the storm. You can shout. You can praise up through the midst of the storm. You can't never walk around. Hey. Come on, somebody. Cause they ain't been through nothing. Amen. <laughs> You don't know how it is to lose everything. And not only lose everything, lose, lose your other half too. And come on, I'm talking about everything. But the Spirit of God so mightily on you that you still can preach and sing. Come on now. And then when you come out the fire, when you come out the fight, you're tired. Now watch this. This is what this is this is what's good about this. Samson had to say something to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Which God said, I said, woo! God said, all you gotta do is something. And what God was showing me, it's not going down the way you think it's going down. Come on, somebody. Okay. I won't give them, I, I won't give them that victory. I won't give them that benefit. Of, come on, somebody. Uh -huh. Come on, those folks that's looking at you like you, those folks, man, don't you know it's folks want, wanting you to fall off? Yeah. For jealousy, yeah. envy, come on. Yeah. They want you to fall off, but watch this, watch this. Don't you know God ain't gonna let you go out like that? Amen. Watch this, Samson say, he said, he slain a thousand Philistines, verse 17, and it came to pass when he had made an end. Watch this, Samson, stop, excuse me. He said, and he slew a thousand men there with 16. And Samson said, with, with the jawbone of an ass, Heap upon heaps with the jaw of an ass, I have slain a thousand men. Y'all see that? Amen. And it came to pass. It came to pass. Yes. It's going to come to pass after the fight. Y'all better help. Come on now. You can believe it's going to come to pass. Say it's going to come to pass. Come come after you finish fighting the devil, that's why the Lord got to allow him to flee for a season. You got to, re you got to restore your strength. You got to get back strong again. Somebody help me. Amen. And watch this. It, it will come. Uh -huh. It said that it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand, and he called the place Ramaliah, and he and he was so what? He was thirst, wasn't he? That brother was thirsty. Come on, somebody. And he called on who? The Lord. And said, Thou has given me this great deliverance into the hand of thy servant. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. And now shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised. Watch this. He said, Now you done gave me this victory over the devil. Mm. You done gave me this victory over the enemy. Now I'm at the point of death. Look like I'm about to fall. Look like I'm about to be knocked out the race. Mm. Woo, y'all better help me. Come on now. And it looked like it looked like it to everybody else I'm about to be knocked out the race. Uh -huh. But what Samson really was saying, Lord, don't let me go out like this. Amen. Woo, yeah. Come on now. Lord, 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 don't let me go out this way. Don't get my come on, don't let my enemies. Woo. Mm. Come on, somebody. Don't let the uncircumcised, which means the folks that are not in covenant with God. Somebody help me. Come on. Don't let these heathens 
Come on now. Say, I told you so. Oh, what that? Don't let my faith be in vain. I done glorified you. Y'all better help me. Don't, don't let me go out like this, Lord. Y'all better help me. We serve a God ain't gonna let you go out like that. Y'all better help me. He won't let you go out like that. God will never leave you hanging. God will never. Y'all better help me up in this place. God won't leave you hanging. He said, I ain't gonna let you go out like that. I don't want the uncircumcised. The folk that's not in covenant to say we were right. Come on, come on, come on. You know what an uncircumcised person told me? What kind of God will make you look like a fool, preacher? I know that was the devil. Because he put preacher on the end of it. What kind of God, what kind of God will make you look like an entire fool, preacher? Not my God. He ain't gonna let me go out Come on, like this. <laughs> y'all better, better help me up in this place. He's not gonna give them the satisfaction. The, come on, somebody. He ain't gonna give them the satisfactory. Come on, somebody. I know it look bad, church, but God ain't gonna let us go out like this. Y'all better help me up in this place. God is gonna get the glory and the Christian house of fellowship.
and my, 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 my. So when you came out of it, he said the very thing that, that I used to give you the victory is the very thing you're going to use to be restored. Amen. Amen. Woo! Somebody help me. Come on, man. And all them folk that were talking about you, all them folk that were talking about you, they ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. But they didn't know that God had a jawbone, a new jawbone. And God, he played the hole in the new jawbone. And the Bible says that he allowed, he caused water to come out of that jawbone. Y'all better help me. Water represents life. Y'all better help me. God caused life to come out the very thing that he used to fight the devil. God caused life to come out of that jawbone. And the scripture says that the jawbone restored him, revived him. Y'all better help me. It's time for reviving. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now you ain't praising God with me yet. Come on, somebody. Yourselves together as the matter of some is. Come on, somebody, as we see 
the, the day approaching. Come on, somebody. And he right under that same verse, that same verse, he goes to the next verse and say, for if we still would sin willfully. Mm -hmm. Why is sin connected to death? Because if you ain't in the house of God, you must be doing something else besides God thing. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Come on. And folks say they don't need church. I'm saved, but I ain't in church. Mm. I ain't never seen a saved person hang around with sinners. Come on. If you say you want to hang around with saved people. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be around folks that ain't doing what I'm doing. I don't want to be around folks that do what I used to do. Come on, somebody. Because if I get around folks that do what I used to do, I'm going to wind up doing what I used to do. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, now. Come on. So why would I want to hang around some folks getting towed up, clubbing, committing adultery and everything else? How in the world I'm married hanging around with single folks? Y'all better help. When you're warm, but when you're cold, mm. come on, somebody. 
A cold, when I'm freezing and cold, I can't tolerate nothing. Woo, y'all better help me. So no. Don't talk to me when I'm cold. Amen. Come on. Amen. I'm looking for blankets to get, come on somebody. Woo, boy, y'all, y'all. That's good, that's good. A cold person. And a lone person is a cold person. Boy, y'all better help me up in this place. I said a lone person is a cold person. Boy, this is a good word. Y'all just don't know it, man. I said a lone person is a cold person. Watch this. He said, but one, and if one prevail against him, huh? I said, if I get, if, I said, if one prevail against you, he said, two will withstand him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Y'all with me? A threefold cord is not easily broken. He said, Bro, if one prevail against you, if I come and help you, we'll withstand. We'll withstand. But watch this. This is a word God gave me, and I'm done. I'm closing my Bible. This is a word God gave me. I wrote it down with the definition. We must end the office. That scripture came to me, and God said, Rehabilitate. Rehabilitation or rehabilitate. You cannot rehabilitate on your own. To restore to form a capacity or rank position. To restore to good condition to restore health. You cannot rehabilitate on your own. I've never seen someone get paralyzed or in a serious accident not have someone to help them. And even before they get to this stage, you have to be encouraged to get up and try. Young, young boy, somebody help me up in this place, man. Somebody help me up in this place. I said two are better than one. Come on, somebody. See, you have to, in, in your mind, you have to believe that you can be healed. And it takes somebody to encourage you to get up and want to do that. That's why you got that person next to you saying, come on, you can do it. You can make it. Take another step. Come on. And then you sit there. You can do it. Come on, come on. And, and what's causing you to take another step is that you can do it. Oh, man, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't with me. See, if you didn't have the you can do it in your ear, you would take that next step. Somebody help me. But you got the you can do it in your ear. Just keep
you got a strong discernment and tell them that they talk in their mind because of their out. They, they, they body, this is just a shell that you're in. This is not you. We found it out Wednesday night, didn't we? Amen. This is not the real you. This is just a shell that you're in. This, this shell manifests what's going on on the inside of you. This shell tells on you. If your spirit is messed up inside, it's going to show on your countenance. Because what's on the inside is real. It's the real you. The devil comes to attack God came to renew your spirit. Somebody help me. Because if the devil can bound you in your spirit, then you're bound in your flesh. Amen. And you will look at folks running around here. That's just a manifestation of what's in their spirit. They bound, they tore up, messed up. Come on, we know. Come on. When we know brother man was normal as we was. That brother walk around barefooted down, fried, no shirt on. Got a whole of some mess, man. Now he whole realm. The man that took out my, my daughter's mother, he said he went to a spiritual journey. a spiritual thing. I, I, I'm telling you, I've seen people normal as me. See, you, you wonder why drugs, watch this. You ever heard of mushrooms? I know a person got on mushrooms, a family member. Not torn, not torn.
this is your this is the healing of your mind. Try reading Proverbs. Try reading Psalms. This is the medicine to your mind. The word of God. And the devil don't want you to get in this. Because he know if you get in this, your mind gonna get set free. Somebody say amen. amen. A lot of people go on spending all their money on this and that. Let me tell you something. This, this is the medicine. This was my medicine. I had issues too. And still got it. This is my medicine right here. Come on, somebody. Take one of this. Take one of this. Come on, somebody. I said, take one a day. That means read it every day. Read something every day. Take one a day and call me. Take, take one and call. Call me in the morning. No, call me in a week. Let me know how you're doing. Take, take one a day. Call me in a week. Let me know how you're doing. Come on, somebody. This is the medicine to your mind. Right here. This is the key to your mind. Right here. Come on, give God a hand, praise. Come on, give Him praise. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you today, Lord God. We thank you this morning for your word that's quick and powerful. Father, that I pray for each individual in this room. Father, that they know that the fight is over. The storm is over. You've given them the victory. Let them know, Father, that right now you're finna, you're finna revive them. You're finna give them the water of life. We thank you right now. Your word is called water, Lord God, the water of the word. Revive them with your water right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you this morning, Lord God, for your healing power. Thank you for what you're doing in our midst. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give God a hand, praise.